kick. But it looks like she's trying to really show that she's got some improved striking. And of course, she works out at the lab, which is one of the best teams, I think, in mixed martial arts with um, just incredible female training partners. When you look at Mackenzie Dern, she wants to win this fight by submission. And she was honest. She said that Medeiros would take her down, but never really engages her on the floor, rinse and repeat. I think that would be a fantastic strategy, TJ. Tire her out a little bit, make her cautious of attacking, and then land your own punches and kicks. When we talk about the experience factor, Kalini Medeiros has it in mixed martial arts, but overall, Mackenzie Dern has been competing since she was about six years old. So while it hasn't been in the MMA uh, forum, it, it, it has been in grappling. And M Mackenzie Dern, I think, is immune to a lot of the lights, a lot of the pressure, because she's been doing this really since she's can, can remember. Yeah, she's had some wonderful performance. I mean, she, like I said earlier, her resume in Brazil. Kalini Medeiros trying to find her source about her. Mackenzie Dern. The kickboxer putting it on Kalini Medeiros. Well, this is fun. That was a wonderful overhand, and the way she kind of stayed measured, a little bit off balance, but still moving forward. Now she's got Kalini Medeiros, where she can tie her up and employ Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu game. And while Mackenzie Dern said that taste of power before, and we see Kalini spinning around, trying to get at range, got the back briefly, and then spun out and got back. So she's tasted the power of Mackenzie Dern. She's tasted that overhand. Now let's see if she switches things up or continues to pepper her from the outside. Dern very light on her feet. You can tell that confidence is building here. 90 seconds remain in the first round. Lenny Medeiros trying to find her base underneath her, trying to get some offense going, but she needs to respect that right hand and a kick here by Dern. Medeiros on the run. Mackenzie stalking going forward. It's a real testament to the, I guess, the with coaching that's been going on. Mackenzie Dern has shown this just really big overhand and then the read of the left high kick afterwards, even though it didn't land flush, it was a really nicely balanced way to recover and continue to attack. Right hand misses by Medeiros, but it was a big one and Dern, even though she didn't eat it, needs to respect that power of Kalina Medeiros because I guarantee you it's not gone yet. I don't think so. She seems a little wobbled, a little off balance and a little bit desperate with that kind of grab she did right there, TJ. Oh, again. The overhand to the high kick. Mackenzie Dern has power. She's definitely showing that here in her Invicta FC debut. 35 seconds remain here. This opening round now in the clinch. Dern trying to wrap her up and get a takedown. Medeiros not going down without a fight. And normally I would be like, don't wrap over the head like that, but Dern has a very impressive guillotine, so getting to that position, getting to a choke position, actually may be working in her favor, whereas it does give her opponent a takedown to be higher. To have Kalina Medeiros' hips underneath her. Kalina Medeiros is pinning that arm, pinning that, uh, that left hand against the cage, trying to keep that from overhooking or wrapping over the top. Five minutes in the books between the women. We talk about the weight cut for Mackenzie Dern. She's had issues with it in the past. She made it this time, and that's where it pays dividends. She's a much bigger fighter here from Fight Time. Now, I don't know if you saw that, TJ, but Dern actually hit a body shot with her right kick as uh, Medeiros moved her head to the side. Again, it was a nice read. It could have very easily hit Medeiros in the head. Be defensive here, trying to catch the kick here of Dern. I just can't imagine Medeiros really thought that she would be having to be defensive in a kickboxing fight with, with Mackenzie Dern. Well, you know, they, it goes to show you that uh, MMA just can do anything, can't it? I mean, double underhooks right there does kind of give up a throw, a hip toss, but I don't know that Dern is able to get that just yet. And it looks like she's almost trying to climb the back of Medeiros. Medeiros trying to secure this position and not be bullied by Dern, who has the back against the fence. Big swing and a miss by Mackenzie Dern, now back at space. Our co-main event, Mackenzie Dern making her Invicta FC debut here against Kalina Medeiros. Nice kick by the World Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu champion. Medeiros tries to answer with one of her own. And Medeiros has kind of lost her quickness. She's lost her lateral movement. She needs to get back. Even though she was getting hit, she's going to get hit even more if she stays right there in the pocket. Her head movement and her foot movement, or her leg movement, I should say, needs to improve, needs to quicken up again. We talk about the overhand right of Kalini Madera. She's thrown it, but she hasn't really set it up. Would you like to see Kalini make some sort of adjustment on her feet with her punches? Yes, sir. I would like to see her elbow get a little bit higher as well on that right hand. If she wants to throw it, she's got to throw full commitment and try to reach over the top. It is hard against a taller fighter to get that, especially one who's throwing overhands. Oh, wow, guillotine attempt there. Standing guillotine attempt there by Dern. Tied up and now back up against the cage. 
you can see Dern was trying to push on, and her, I think her corner was calling for elbows right there, um, bracing that face off instead of grabbing it. You see the composure of Mackenzie Dern looking over at her corner, giving them a nod, agreeing with the strategy and advice that they're telling her. Now the way Dern is standing with her feet together can make her susceptible to, susceptible to a double leg. She's even on her toes right there, but she's looking for that sweep. Now she the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu wizard on the floor. Kalina Medeiros needs to protect that left leg. Knee bar up coming, maybe. Nicely uh, done. Yeah, it looks like she was rolling over that. Uh, you can see Kalina Medeiros is locked up, trying to disallow it, trying to grab the back. But you can see um, Dern is reaching over the top and actually trying to extend with the, those legs. This is some fun stuff. It's like a toehold, but she pulls out of. Fun. You see if Dern moves to secure the position. A minute is a long time for Kalina Medeiros to be on the floor with this Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu wizard and Mackenzie Dern. And the way she's tied up on Dern's head is actually giving Dern a little bit more support to keep moving. You see she transitioned to mount right there. Um, grabbing around the head like that is gonna keep her from striking, but it is sacrificing the arms of Medeiros. Now right, postured up is Mackenzie Dern, raining down some strikes. Kalini Medeiros, forced to be defensive. Medeiros trying to move, Dern adjusting more strikes for Mackenzie Dern. And I really do believe these are hitting very hard, TJ. You can see Medeiros rolling over, trying to get out the back door, but giving up her back to a multi-time champion in jiu-jitsu is maybe not the best strategy. Dern is patiently working the ears with strikes, trying to break down her opponent as Medeiros tries to climb out the back door. Medeiros looks like she will survive. Round two almost in the books. Mackenzie Dern unable to submit her. She had her chance. Bit of a moral victory has landed. A lot of people talking about the progression of Mackenzie Dern, and it has been on display here tonight inside her Invicta FC debut. There's that right hand again. Medeiros wisely circling away from it. Under two minutes left here. The corner of Dern so excited at this young 24-year-old. A lot of expectations for her in her mixed martial arts career, and tonight in Invicta FC, she is showing why that excitement exists. Absolutely, people have a lot of faith in her potential, and I'm a convert now. Um, you know, again, the striking is, it's landing well. It's right. maybe not necessarily looking as pretty or as powerful as it could be, but that tells you what it could be in the future. Now, she just turned her back to her opponent, like to the cage, and yet, I don't think she feels like she's in danger. She looks like she's inconvenienced and tired more than anything. Take down here for Mackenzie Dern. Less than a minute remains for her to work. Trying to Beautiful clear the legs. Now switch. straight to mount here for Mackenzie Dern. And again, Medeiros is grabbing onto the head, trying to prevent that onslaught of ground and pound. She's got 40 seconds left, but that is exposing her arms for submissions. You can see Mackenzie Dern kind of hopping up froggy style, getting higher into the armpit so she can launch a better attack and free an arm. 30 seconds left here for Mackenzie Dern to hunt for a finish. Lindy Medeiros, very tough. And now she goes belly down. Arm bar coming oh, for Mackenzie wow. Dern. Mackenzie Dern taking that arm home. Lindy Medeiros taps. It is done. Wow. Mackenzie Dern victorious in her 